Well, spotty showers in parts of the area this afternoon. Not everyone saw a shower, and those that did likely didn't see a lot in the way of rainfall. It's been quiet over the course of the evening, albeit partly to mostly cloudy and mild and muggy. Right now, the temperature 73 degrees. The dew points at 68, so there's still a little room for the temperature to move. Southeast wind coming in right now at 7 miles an hour and relative humidity at 84 percent. Temperatures elsewhere right now, 72 in Elwood City, Churchill's at 70, 71 in Bethel Park, 70 in Belle Vernon, and 69 in Washington. Butler's at 72, 75 in Latrobe, and 74 in West Mifflin. Numbers will likely come down a few more degrees. I think we'll be right around 68 to 70 by first thing tomorrow morning, 5, 6 a.m. is where we'll see numbers lining up around 68, 69 degrees. And then highs tomorrow should work their way into the low 80s for highs again. Today our high was 81. Tomorrow I think we'll be back to 81 or 82 degrees again. So it's really going to be almost a repeat performance of today in terms of temperature as well as how things will look outside and also our opportunity to see a couple of showers. Not much out there on radar right now. You can see everything is moving by either well to our east or well to our west and we're kind of in between two pieces of energy. We'll primarily stay there through much of the day tomorrow. You'll notice as we head through the day, 3 o'clock, a couple of hit and miss showers, mainly as you get back near the eastern Ohio and Pennsylvania state line, and also as you get further west towards central Pennsylvania. And then as we head toward tomorrow evening, I think a few showers may start to collapse in on the area. So again, tomorrow we'll see a few hit and miss showers. Not everyone will see one. I think the better opportunity for more of us to see showers will come as we head through the afternoon on Wednesday. That said, projected rain totals not especially high. Through 7 o'clock tomorrow, a couple locations could get a tenth, maybe two tenths of an inch of rain. But again, that's going to be a very hit and miss in the coverage. You'll note again the main plume of moisture heading off to our east through the central part of the state. We're kind of in between things and then back off to our north and west. There's an area of low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That's going to continue to work its way through the lower lakes in the next 24 hours. Again, daytime heating tomorrow, a little instability, fires off a few hit and miss type of showers. Now into the day on Wednesday, you'll notice a cool front works its way down across the area. Fairly weak boundary, but there's going to be enough lift there to set off showers Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. They'll probably be of a more numerous nature, covering more real estate and more of us seeing one Wednesday afternoon before the front then moves through the area by evening and nighttime and some drier air filters in behind for the latter half of the week. Quiet tonight, mild muggy 69 below temperature. Tomorrow the high about 82 degrees in the afternoon, a scattering of a few showers, otherwise another warm and humid afternoon. Wednesday, the high also 82 degrees with a better chance to see a, probably a better coverage of the showers. Then Thursday, 84, Friday, 81 with a partly cloudy sky and we'll be right around 80 right through the weekend.